Welcome to the GCN Show. Welcome to the GCN Show. From Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to the GCN Show. Welcome to the GCN Show. This week we go ultra distance mad with some of the most inspirational or perhaps bonkers people in cycling and we've got some really cool racing news as well. Yeah, plus we've got two really cool new tech releases, quite a lot of bodged and hacked ones from you guys and then all of our usual favourite segments as well. Caption competition now, your weekly chance to win some GCN swag. Last week's photo you'll remember was this one. It was taken by Barry at the cycling blog. Sean Kelly pretty much riding underwater. And the winner is, drum roll please, Frank Drebin, who says, Sean Kelly showing the new tech of 2016, the new Tax Fluid Trainer. Very good. Oh, That's nice. Pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Well done, Frank. Yeah. Now, this week's photograph is this one of Tony Martin and his new teammate, Marcel so Cattell, looking quite confused over something. Dan, do you want to go for it? Wow. Uh, Lidl have got some great offers on at the moment. That's a good one, Dan. That is good. I've set the bar pretty high. Tough to beat, but that if you want to give it a try, beat. remember, stick your entries in the comments section down, down below, below and we will pick a winner for next week's show. This week's Cycling Shorts is all about ultra endurance because there have been some incredible feats making the news this week. Yeah, firstly, hats off to Kurt Seervogel, who has recently broken the record that everyone thought was unbreakable, that of the greatest distance ridden in one year, so of course by Tommy Godwin all the way back in 1939. Now, he covered an extra 1,011 miles, giving him a total distance of 76,076 miles over the 365 days. Now, it is an incredible distance, but I think it is worth pointing out that Seervogel did a lot of his attempt on a recumbent mm. and also on a TT bike, so it does actually make Tommy Tommy Godwin's record all the more impressive. So hats off to Bruce Berkeley. He's now attempting to break the record on a regular road bike. He's already 12 days in and 100 kilometers ahead of schedule. So only 353 days to go. At Bruce did get in contact. There's a rather, br rather brief message. We Sleep, ride, eat. For much. Well, not really. Sleep, ride, eat, repeat. That's my life. So he plainly dictated that. He must have done He must have Siri set up or something Definitely. like that. Mm. Now, all this riding uh, for one year thing is very impressive, but how about riding around the world for 50 years? Whoa. What? Yeah. So it's German cyclist called Heinz Stuck. Packed in his job as a welder back in 1962, set off riding his bike around the world, and 593,625 kilometres later. Um, how many kilometres? 593,625 kilometres later, he has returned home to write a book about his adventures, of which you can imagine there are probably quite a few, including, rather embarrassingly, uh, the time he had his bike stolen when he was riding around the UK. So, huh. given all the places he'd been, yeah, yeah anyway. Typical. Ridiculous. Right, let's steer things back to a type of endurance that is a little bit more familiar for us, at least. Now, it's the third hats off in Cycling Short segment, this time to Jack Bobridge, now of Trek Segafredo. He won the Australian National Championships for a second time, but he did it in a solo move, which lasted over half the race, so around about 90 kilometers, and held on by a full three minutes. And he managed to do it, despite carrying quite a bit of in extra winter weight. Yeah. He's looking a bit chubby in that picture, isn't he? Mm. That, quite, that is remarkable. Yeah. I cannot believe how lean he is. That is insanely mm. lean. That is cut, especially this time of year. Yeah. Jackie B. Fair play. Now, a rider not faring quite as well in Australia is Nicholas Roach of Team Sky. Now, he's been hospitalised for the second time, forget this, a spider bite. That actually resulted in going to A&E and spending five days. The reaction was so bad and he's only just been released from hospital and can start training, I believe, in about five days' time. And he tweeted this rather horrific picture of the bite itself. Really considering going for casting of Spider 6, whatever that is, have not been climbing up the walls yet. Hashtag no luck. Hashtag incredible. And that picture really is quite incredible, isn't it? That is horrible, frankly. Get well soon, Nicholas. Do you not see Spider 1 to 5? Obviously not, no. no. No, I didn't either. Now, we would just like to finish off cycling shorts by saying a very big get well soon to the British track rider, Victoria Williamson. She had a really nasty crash whilst at the Rotterdam six day. So uh, we hope that you are back on the boards very soon indeed. Yeah, get well soon, Victoria. Definitely. Time now for Dom's tweet forward slash Instagram of the week. 
And this is an absolute perler from Bling90, aka Bling Matthews of Orica Green Edge and sprinting particularly fast fame. This is from him. Basically, Bling90, whoever said you can't fit your bike into your Renault Tweezy? Hashtag the perfect car. Somehow, Bling has managed to get a full bike into this rather small and bijou Renault car. The question on my lips right now, why has a man with a nickname Bling got a Renault Twizy? It, it, maybe he got a rental car and that was all that was left. Who knows? Maybe, maybe Bling 90 himself could get back in touch with Dom and have a chat about it. You're going for it Twizy, is. Matt's going for Tweezy. <laughs> Twizy? It's probably Twizy. Yeah, Tweezy. I'll, I'll well, well it's only got one Z, so maybe it is Tweezy. Twizy, Twizy. It's Twizy pretty French too, isn't it? Let Twizy. us know in the comment section below. Okay, we got sent some of these this week, which is Science in Sports brand new protein snack called Way 20. Whey! So, no, Way. Oh. Uh, anyway, so any of you that are out there training hard and want to keep on top of your protein intake, these are well worth a look. Yeah, they are. So they've got 20 grams of protein in them, including 7 grams of really high quality branch chain amino acids. Uh, and uh, I suppose what we need to do, guys, is actually try them. <laughs> That's all right. That's no, really nice. Really tried, is, yeah. it? Sorry. How come I got you mm. a lemon? It's quite, um, cool. it's quite like yogurty. I tell you what, that's all right. Mm. I only just got the top of mine. Yeah, it's really good, actually, isn't it? I did quite a hard workout yesterday on the turbo, so mm, I need this. All right. Yeah. Well, you're on your press-up challenge, Dan. I don't know whether anybody noticed, but the Drap Pack team was sporting some rather nice new sunglasses at the Aussie Championship. Yeah, yeah. did notice that. I was rather surprised, actually, because I know that these are really rare. Uh, Cask actually sent me some over last week, but I know there's not many in circulation. I will give you some more information about them soon. Well done about you, Sob. I thought the Drapak team in particular made them look pretty cool. The Drapak guys did make them look well, the very cool. The Drapak riders look really good. Yeah, now before we leave tech for this week, uh, it's not a surprise, but Katusha have now officially confirmed they're going to be working with SRAM and Zip for next year, which is basically just another excuse to show this photo of their new bikes. It does look nice, doesn't oh, it? That is very cool. It looks fast in red, doesn't it? It does. It's pretty fast in black. But even faster in red. Yeah. Is there technically a fastest colour? Someone actually did that research the other day. Where did I see it? I saw it, it's around online. They've literally analysed the colour of every Tour de France winner since the beginning. Yellow, isn't it? Well... It is time now for racing news, and this week it's not just about cyclocross. Woo! Steady on. Mm. It was national championships across much of the world, cyclocross in the northern hemisphere, and road in the southern. Yeah, one of the highlights for me from Cross was Wout van Aert taking his first Belgian title. And this little video clip from John Canning, a chap who works for a laser, shows the reception that van Aert got walking into the VIP tent after his win. Move over to Sven Nace, there is a new boss in town. They do like a bit of house music over in Belgium, don't they? Oh, yeah. I do, yeah. Techno, techno, hard techno, techno, yeah. techno. Uh, Meanwhile, Van Aert's chief rival and current world champion, Mathieu van der Poel, won the Dutch national championships ahead of Lars van der Haar. Meanwhile, in the United States, Jeremy Powers had to fight hard for his fourth title, but get this, Katie Compton, guess how many US titles she's won in cross now? 12? Yeah, 12. Correct. Yeah. That's amazing. That is seriously impressive. Now, unseasonable weather across much of Europe this winter meant that, was meant that most of the races actually took place in the dry, but you only have to look as far as the UK for proper cross conditions. It was absolutely grotty up there at our nationals. Nikki Harris took her second title, and in the men's race, it was actually a really welcome return to form for mountain biker Liam Killeen, mm. who uh, took his first cross national title after more podiums than he'd care to remember, I suspect. And I think it's worth a bit of a shout out to Nikki Craig, mm. who took fourth place in the elite race at 46 years of age. An absolute legend in mountain biking and cyclocross. He's older than me. No. Yeah. Bloody hell, that's even more impressive. That is impressive. Uh, another hat's off. Back to the road now then, we'll start off with the Australian Men's Time Trial Championships. Rowan Dennis managing to turn the tables on last year's result, beating his brand new teammate, Richie Port of BMC. And as we've already mentioned, Jack Bobridge showed an incredible amount of strength to take the Australian National Road Race Championships ahead of a full 10-man Orica Green Edge uh, team in quite emphatic style. Finally, the women's tour really kicked off down in Argentina at the Tour Femenino de San Luis, and the first stage of that was won by the American rider for UHC, Corinne Rivera in a uh, bunch sprint. Hi everyone, just to let you know that GCN's clothing is now available to buy from our web shop. 
So you could look like us, but maybe not like Dan. No, really. no one can look as cool as Dan. It's really comfy. Do you think he's all right? He's never been all right. No. <laughs> it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It is hack forward slash bod of the week. That was a backslash again. Not for them, it wasn't. Oh, no. Only for us, yeah. Well, we're one each. Anyway, straight off, Not we've got two. a cracking uh, one here from, this is definitely a bodge, and it is Chris Pritchard. I think this deserves to be in Hack Bodge of the Week. It is. Yeah. Who needs cameramen? So I've got a good point, though, isn't that it? That is a good point. We could save a Hack. load of money if we don't need any yeah. of the cameramen. I've got a sofa stick here attached out to side of my well, bike, a bit of string. Maybe we do need them. Turn, turn it yeah, back on. on. Back on. Sorry. Yeah, we, really, you can't we didn't, no, we we didn't mean we're it. We're not going to do that. We didn't mean it. Thanks. Hurry up. Right, right. moving swiftly on then. Uh, Alistair Thornton, this, he's voluntarily said this is a bodge because it is possibly the biggest bodge we've ever seen. He's bodged a single speed conversion onto a retro Scott mountain bike. That's amazing. But the thing that really rang alarm bells for me was that he's replaced two chain ring bolts with zip ties. Yeah, <laughs> that's not going to go well, Alistair. Just wow. going to warn you now. Uh, next up, we've got Keith Ellis. He says 50 quid turbo mat. No, thank you. And he's just used a sort of kid's car parking sort of car carpet. Really? Hopefully his kids aren't still using that because that could be a bit disgusting. Yeah, it could be a bit sweaty. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Now this next one, perhaps inspired by last week's Aero Bar Bodge, uh, has created a set out of firewood and electrical tape. Oh yes, but take a look at that. They're very good. Pretty good. You wouldn't know, would you? You wouldn't know that they were flammable Aero Bars. We're going to finish by continuing with the Aero Bar theme actually because Shubhashek Rai has sent us in this picture Making aero bars out of aero bars. Very clever. Nice. Quite witty. They do remarkably good, actually, and tasty. Mm. So, uh, yeah, now we are loving your hacks forward slash bodges, so do keep sending them in to us. Yeah, you can use the hashtag GCN Hack. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, we shall find it. All social media platforms. Not all. Well, no, we don't old. use Snapchat. Uh, Snapchat. Apart from Snapchat. mine. Oh, they yeah. Wouldn't let us on because no. we're too old. Comment of the week now, and as ever, we've had some absolute belters on the channel this week. My pick of the bunch is from Peter Tollen, who says, nothing worse than when you're going for that big KOM and then the fifth car tags on behind you. Now, of course, that references the new law in California that means that cyclists are obliged to pull over when five cars turn up behind you. Mm. Indeed. Well, I liked this one that came in from Frank Stone underneath Matt learning how to ride the rollers. He put, holy sh three logs? Matt, don't do it. I've still got some of that cake left, actually. We'll have some after the show, if you fancy some. It was yeah, all nice. Mind. Finally, this is from somebody calling themselves Cool Edits. <laughs> Dear Matt, I'm 12 and I can clip in far better than you. Not Brackets, so I'm kidding and no offence. But seriously, learn to clip in. <laughs> For sake. Thank you, Cool Edits. Yeah. Matt, you're an idiot. Only kidding, no offence. <laughs> On the channel this week, on Wednesday, it's how to test your fitness indoors. There are three main tests which are going to give you a broad picture of your cycling ability. A sprint test, a maximal aerobic test, and a threshold test. Now these three things are going to tell you a lot about your overall cycling performance out on the open road, and improving any one of them will make you a better rider. On Thursday, it's the top 10 most powerful people in cycling, and no, we're not talking about Dan's biceps, although they're not Technically, people, but Dan is. Nor powerful, I no. think. On Friday, we've got another GCN that does science. This time, Cy and Matt explore the performance effects of different crank lengths. <laughs> and then on Saturday, it is the best pro bike that we've ever done here on GCN. Which is that then? It's my, it's my Ridley Phoenix oh, yeah. disc. I'm not sure it counts as a pro bike. Is it <sighs> semi-pro? Ex-pro. Mm, it's a nice bike, though. It has been. Washed yeah, up. Anyway. It's, a, it's a nice bike. Watch it. Oh, yeah. And can, yeah. yeah, the bike's really good. Anyway, Sunday, we've got off the back. And then on Monday, I'll show you how to wash and look after your cycling kit, which is probably some of the most expensive stuff in your wardrobe and worth taking care of. And Tuesday, it's a special GCN show from... Oh, yeah. Mallorca or Majorca. Yeah, right. Thanks, Mallorca. guys. Rub it in. Yeah, but you've got trips as well. Oh, I can't wait for some sun. So am I. Sun and sunglasses. They're mine, mate. Careful with them as well, they're rare. We will leave you with Extreme Corner. And this week we've got a really cool video from Stinner Frameworks, who are a custom frame builder based in Santa Barbara, California. The video is called Share the Road, and you will see what we mean. This is nuts. <laughs>
just that's mad. It's bonkers, isn't it? That Mental. Could, that's nuts. That, it's skillful and a, and a little bit nuts. Yeah. If you want to see the whole video, just head over to the Stinner Framework blog. But it's got to be said, I would love to do that if we can engineer that for GCN. But not on a skateboard. You'd, I'd, I'd, be right, right, I'd, I'd love to be able to do that as well, but uh, yeah. I don't think I would be able to. Right, we've got some great content for you just in case you missed it. So just up there, you can see a fantastic video from Matt as he went behind the scenes in Mallorca with Team Sky. He did some aero testing on the track. Thanks very much for that, Dan. We've actually got quite a nice video that you presented as well called the Top 5 Legends in Sport, cycling ones, that is, specifically, where are they now? Click just down here and you'll find the answer to that very question. Was there, are there any uh, good videos that oh, I did, guys? Well, there are, there's but we've few. Not got enough boxes. Not for this week, though. Yeah. But there's, there's a few. I mean, you can tap inside Rich and There's just, just one little box left fine. in the middle. Yeah, all right, just oh, yeah. subscribe in that middle one. Which is to subscribe to the channel. Don't be a bit more enthusiastic than that. Subscribe! That's better. Yeah, good, good lad. Sorry about that. And oh. give the video a thumbs up. Should well. we do that again? Because I said an absolutely fantastic video and you said quite a good one. For <laughs> <you>. <laughs> That's enough. I'm not going to give any more praise than that, then. <laughs>